Welcome to part three, $1,600 in all in this unit. We're saying $1,100 because of the shelving we're gonna use and the totes we're gonna use for business. And if you go ahead and look at these beautiful shelving, they really are expensive shelves. I'm not like trying to sugarcoat this. They're like $300, $400 at the Home Depot. We're saying they're worth 400 used, but we're keeping them for business use and we're keeping every one of these heavy duty totes. So far in this unit, we found Xboxes, we found expensive tools, we found expensive clothing, we found a ton of uh, some military gear, we found tons of stuff, right? And we still have all this to go through. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not hyping this up whatsoever because it doesn't need it. I'm not gonna like be pointing at stuff. We're just gonna go ahead and start doing it. So, miscellaneous clothing. We found a lot of clothing, but we're not mad at it because we have found, and this is the black sheep of the tubs, right? Yeah. He's the little rubber maid. Okay, we got some clothing, but we got some shoes, and we lack shoes. Uh, that hat's pretty rough. Now, this could be a fairly good sign. That's a pistoli box. Mm. There's no gun in it. No gun inside the box, but there may be a gun in here. Got some Nike shoes in here. Um, got that, whatever that is. What is this? Jewelry. Lies. Just sit on the throne of lies. There's no jewelry in there. Salt Life hats. Salt Life hats actually sell fairly well for us, don't they? Are they all connected? They are all connected. So that's, it's like a hat keychain. Are they signed? They're signed. That one's signed. Country Boy. This one's signed by somebody. I don't know. American Le Mans. Is that a... Uh... I don't know what that is, honestly. Look at this. The old Nintendo. Nintendo beanie. I mean, obviously this wouldn't be vintage how it's put on there, but it's actually from Nintendo. Huh. Clean that thing up, it's probably worth like five bucks. If you look inside everything, oh man, see the, the locker might provide me a pair of gloves actually, considering I did lose the whiskey fish. That's local, that's down by uh, Merle's Inlet still, isn't it? Look at this, what we found. You can never have enough zip ties. Look at th that alone is, is a good find. Who loves zip ties? I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would zip tie anything together. I've had a couple vehicles held together by black zip ties. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back together. And painter's tape. And painter's tape, yeah. Our Tahoe is held together right now by zip ties and painter's tape. Everybody thinks that we're crazy, but the thing still runs perfectly fine. Ooh, that's heavy. Is it really heavy? Wow. Huh? Must be a lot of documents in there. Yeah, it says documents. I'm telling you right now. It weighs a ton. It's not all documents. This box is like not like all the rest. All the rest of them are super clean. This box is like not so clean. Are these the Tony Llamas? No, these are Ariots. Hmm. Okay, well, if we find an Ariot buddy, his friend, that's not bad. What we might have to do is get another bin that's like half empty and dump this bin into that bin or something. All right, we had to go through this because there was just a lot of paperwork, personal paperwork, and we didn't want to show anybody's name. But we found the Ariot friend, so that's actually not bad. Even, even in not so good condition, but these aren't terrible. They still have a lot of life left in them. These are 40 bucks all day long, 30, 40 dollars. These, if they were the real ones, I think they're called like five, five toes. Is there only four there? One, two, three, four. Ah, four toe. Four toe. Anyway, some metal signs mm. still. We have a whole bunch of those. We found those before. Good keepsake, little snowman. The Myrtle Beach. Yes, yeah, CCMF, so <laughs> definitely local. Oh, this is getting a little bit better oh, with the with the gun. So this is a holster. This is called the Alien. If it had this piece, they sell for like 60 bucks. As I stare up here, I'm getting more excited. What we're gonna do, we're gonna leave this one until later. We're gonna go ahead and do this one. Oh, this is like- Teeny tiny. Tiny, teeny tiny, super light. Oh, pretty cool though, wait a second. Oh, they're not in there. They're, they're all just empty. Like boxes. They're just boxes. Oh no! Oh, we got three penguins. Oh, they're cute. And we got some silver and blue balls. It's a blue ball! A movie. I have no idea. Alright, next box. 
this one is heavy. Like heavier than the document? Yeah, and whatever it is, it's super heavy, like right in the middle. It almost feels like sand. What is this? Oh, that's a ring. It was $23, made in Chile. Hmm. Pretty cool. Are these all books? Some art and stuff. <gasps> Personal. Look at this guy. Is that a real bone? Well, it sure looks like it's a real bone. Look right there. Yeah. Is this thing legit? I don't, you're getting... You get fur everywhere. <laughs> it's got a legit fur on it. What is all the weight in here? Oh, cars from the 40s. That's pretty... What is going around here? It's snowing now. <laughs> Hold on, what is this? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? Look at this. Exclusive lithogram. Huh. We'll definitely be looking some of that stuff up. We look everything up because we don't know anything. And I will have to tell y'all, thank you so much for all your comments on the last storage unit because we didn't know much about that uh, Christmas stuff. And just by y'all's comments, we made hundreds of dollars because and, and saved a ton of time in research because you guys told us what exactly it was. So Yeah, the mercury beads. Yeah, we the mercury beads was one are. of them. Not us. Oh, here's a uh, compass, some underwear. Got some money. It's not American. Hey, 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 we found some stuff here. The Atlanta Falcons, Atlanta Falcons honor assistant event. Wish you much success. Um, Chipper Jones. Now some of these from the 90s, these look mostly from the 90s, but we have like signatures on the front of a couple of these. This one's signed. I mean, is that like a legit signature? That one's signed. I don't know, we'll be looking this stuff up, but I know that a couple things from the 90s are worth some decent money. Um, this says his name's on it, but are they, they those signed? Yeah. Those are like photographs. Photographs that are signed. So I don't know. That's we have found some other signatures in here. So it's very interesting. Here's another thing. Baseball. Oh, these must be his good ones, because they're in um cases. Cases. So we'll go flip through them real quick. Uh, y'all. The cool thing about everybody that watches this video, they usually can immediately. Fine, I'm not seeing anything that I know that's worth a ton of money, but we will research each and every one of these. These, I think, are still from the 90s. Mini sword, is there a sword in here? There is a sword in here. Look at this thing. Is that Damascus? It says stainless. It's that's pretty cool. It is nice. Another car. Bust it though, been in an accident. Mm. So, all right, moving on. All right, this is, oh, look at this. All right, so some Christmas stuff poo? is in here. We got some signs here. Merry and bright and let it snow. Very cute little signs. They, I like their uh, their decor. They had, it would like everything that they had kind of matches our house, right? Yeah. Look at that. That's cute. Some of these old ones can be worth some decent amount of money. Also, just more stockings there. You know these right here, the animated ones. You know if they're vintage, I always sell them. Can't tell, but always sell them for like 20 bucks. Hey, 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 are you not in there? No, you are in there, okay. Department 56, Santa ornament. Anything Department 56 I'm a big fan of because we have sold a ton of Department 56. We have a pickle. Who plays the pickle game by hiding it on the tree? Oh, it's a broken pickle. Oh, no. I don't know. It's a lab. Aww. And we sell a lot of ornaments. ornaments. Like, we sell, and each ornament, we usually we lot it up or something of that nature, and we do really, really well with ornaments. This looks like a gym shore. And the stuff we're pulling out is not cheap stuff. Not a gym shore, but cute. Keepsake Hallmark. Now, they're not usually worth a ton of money, but they are worth some money if you get the right ones. We did our research on these, and it turns out that Hallmark Lighthouse ornament from 2014 goes for actually $30 to $60. Um, if you look in here, this thing is stacked full of ornaments. 
Actually, these might be also the ornaments that were not in the other one. Does that make sense? We found a box full. More Hallmark keepsakes. This one was $15. That's actually cool. So a little, that is cool. That look good on our tree. Oh, a little Jeep. Wedding cake. Hmm. Uh, gingerbread. So just a ton of these. And this stuff is easy to ship, easy to list, and it always sells. Does it sell for a ton of money, like hundreds of dollars? No. But does it sell for decent enough? Yes, absolutely. Just more ornaments in there. More keepsake stuff. I mean, it just like goes on and on in here. I mean, just tons and tons of keepsake stuff from the Hallmark collection. Not bad. And they're cool too. Like this one right here is like a cool truck. So this stuff will sell, I mean, easily. Not, not hard to sell this stuff. What is this? Did not expect that. It's not in it. It's a, uh, like a pin. And you have Hallmark. So after we went, went through this box, we have a ton of ornaments in here. We actually have some pretty good ones, actually. And they range between $5 to $30 to $40. We have about $150 to $200 in ornaments in this box. And this box right here is a mystery box. What do you got in here? It says 1996 on the bottom. 1996 tissue paper. Hmm. Vintage tissue paper. How much do you think that goes for? Yeah. That was anticlimactic. On to the next box. Fairly heavy. <clears throat> Scale of one to heaviness. The grimace on the face was like a five. Uh, this has blankets. Feels like blankets. The smell so far in this unit is not that bad. Um, it looks like we have a whole bunch of blankets. Hey. Got magazines for Pistoli. It's an XD, so it's going to be a Springfield. These alone, because this looks like a 45, eh, it could be all fat rounds. Um, these alone go for like 20 bucks a piece, I would think. They have the little extendos on them and stuff like that, so that's good. Yeah, XD 45, I can see that now. Uh, Springfield, even with the mag carrier, you're probably talking a little bit more than 40 bucks. So the thing is, is that, is there a pistol wrapped up? Here's a holster to it. So I'm thinking that most likely... There's going to be a pistol wrapped up in a blanket. Look at this. 1996 Olympics. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty nice, Atlanta. right? Atlanta. Huh. Yeah. Okay. A little vintage, uh, vintage piece right there. Hey, this is expensive. True glow. Look at the price tag on that. 159 So this stuff actually glows all the time, but I guarantee you that they probably still go for close to that. That's just probably a $100 bill right there easy all day long, which still makes me feel like there's a gun in here. This, this is staring me in the face. The black web. Looks like a battery charger. Battery charger, huh. Look at this thing. Georgia Tech. And this stuff oh, smells yeah. really nice. There's nothing in here that smells bad. This is uh, some stuff. Like a camo blanket. Yeah, like a camo blanket that's hand knitted. Huh. This is a really weird feeling blanket. It is like, it feels like memory foam. See it? Mm. No? It's, you don't think it's supposed to feel like that? It's probably because you got gloves on. So oh. that feels weird. Um, no gun. But that's not bad because that's easy. Probably 150 bucks just in that stuff right there. It's very heavy. It doesn't feel like documents. Yeah, Grimace on this one was like a six and a half and slight <laughs> shoulder pain. Okay, there are documents in here, but there's also other things. This is some um, uh, shooting glasses. Hmm. What's going on there, guys? Mm. Hey, a Marlboro guy. Remember oh. we... um. We just sold some Marlboro, Marlboro gear. All right, the only thing we actually found in this one was the uh, creepy mask, some shooting glasses, and then this broken phone. A lot of it was just personal, like, paperwork. I wouldn't really call it personal paperwork. It's just, like, random paperwork. But, um, Could the, it be full of artillery? Artillery, that would be pretty big. The bag alone is probably worth 50 bucks, I would say, because it's a good one. It's very, very nice. We have not what I thought was in here, to be quite honest with you. Like I thought this was going to be like military type of gear or military clothing, something of that sort. No, nothing like that. 
Super cute bag though, right? No? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, you would like that bag. I saw like the stain on the bottom. Oh, uh, there's a stain on the bottom? More bulldog hats. The smell of here just turned straight to uh, like old shoes. And I know why. <laughs> Something cool. Uh, this is just Christmas wrapping and paper and stuff in empty boxes. Huh. But it's not what the cool thing is. Look at this! <gasps> Big old fat tackle box. Is the, there stuff in it? Tons of stuff in it. The Magnum, the Magnum smiley face tackle box. Um, all of it is nicely uh, melted together, as it should be. Some of these things. Is this a real leather man? This is called Coast Pocket Knife. I have to look that up. I just inhaled a whole bunch of the, the nice plastic smell. This is all modern gear. That weight's probably the most expensive thing in here. But it's not bad. This is... What just happened here? How does that not fit back in there? Anyway. This itself is worth like 10 bucks. Easy peasy. We can sell that. We have been doing our own yard sales uh, once a, what, about once a year. Mm -hmm. And we will sell our stuff. So the best thing in here is probably the bag. So that's not bad. Again, I guess there's going to be a part four because we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bins and everything back there in that back corner, which is a huge trunk. We're way up in the profit here. I wouldn't say, I don't know, maybe double. Yeah. Uh, maybe double the money, maybe not that much yet so far. Comment down below what you think of the unit. I do appreciate everybody watching. You know I will always get you on the next one.